Welcome to Artstotska. Papers, Please takes place in this fictitious land called Artstotska, and it is a point-and-click narrative management simulator where the player plays as a Border Patrol officer. Every day that passes, the rules for processing people who are trying to cross the border get more and more complicated, and the player needs to process a certain number of people by the end of the day to support their family. But it's not quite that simple. There's actually a lot of moral questioning when it comes to the games, such as at one point when a husband passes through, his wife comes, but she does not have the required papers to pass. So it's up to the player to decide whether or not to break the rules and allow her to pass, or to stick to the rules and separate her from her husband practically forever. The world around the player reflects the choices made by them, as the story grows deeper into the various changes in the politics of Artsotska, and the player is afflicted with the presence and actions of the NPCs, mostly being dialogue but occasionally attacking the player. The player's ability to win or lose is entirely determined by these consequences, by the consequences of obeying or disobeying the rules. The game is morally questioning, testing where the player lies on the moral scale. Depending on whether the player sticks to their job to save their family or breaks the rules for unfortunate yet deserving NPCs. The player must also consider if what they are doing is actually right. Morally speaking, is it fair for the player to allow some people into the border despite having the papers just because they were nicer than others who weren't? Should they put their wellness and their family's needs above the NPCs trying to cross? Despite being strangers, it is very evident that they are people as well and have their own lives to live. So what makes the player's life more important than theirs? The Ludo narrative in this game strongly presents the moral struggle with the guilt in the player. As the story unfolds, more things are learned and more moralities are questioned. In games like this, players strive to make the right decision, but there isn't always one to be picked. Whatever happens next is a result of the player's choice. Physically checking the papers isn't exactly a walk in the park either. The player is morally compromised whilst also having the stress of following every rule and not missing anything when it comes to checking the papers. Enough citations result, result in fines, and enough fines can result in the player's imprisonment, thus the end of the game. The player has to check more and more things as the days go on on the papers, making it even more difficult to process that minimum number of people on time. The player is given more choices as well. When the day ends, it doesn't just cut away. The player is given the choice of food and heat for their family, as well as mandatory rent. When the family gets sick, medicine is a choice, not a must. The player's family and the strangers crossing the border are all in danger, and it's the player who gets to choose who lives, or who doesn't. Despite having this family to go home to, the player never actually gets to see them and only really talks with the passing NPCs. The atmosphere is lonely. Save for when in the previously mentioned end of the day menu and the title screen, there is actually no music in this game, just ambient noise, murmurs, wind, and footsteps, and the echoing sound of you calling the next person to come in and get their papers checked. The color scheme is brief as well, and the style of the game is fitting for its setting. It's empty, and it's hollow. The player is practically left alone with their thoughts when processing the NPC's papers, and the sour things they may say when denied leave a bitter feeling and sense of dread in the player's mind. No choice the player makes that is morally questioning come without sort of some sort of consequence. Good luck, player. Glory to Artstotska.